The bird in this problem is taken from its nest, flown a distance of 5150 kilometers away, and then is released. So this distance is 5150 kilometers. It's released at a time t equals zero and flies home. So that delta x, the change in the bird's position from release to return to the nest, is minus 5150 kilometers. We're letting to the right be the positive x direction as usual. Convert this distance into the SI unit of meters. So delta x is minus 5.15 times 10 to the 6 meters. It takes the bird 13 and a half days to fly home. So that means that the final time, TF, is 13 and a half days. Convert that into the SI unit of seconds using the conversion factor one day is 86,400 seconds. To find that the final time is 1.17 times 10 to the 6 seconds. Part A asks us to find the bird's average velocity during its return home. The definition of average velocity is the displacement, delta x, divided by the change in time, delta t. In this case, the displacement is negative 5.15 times 10 to the 6 meters, and the change in time is 1.17 times 10 to the 6 seconds. Calculate this to find that the average velocity on the flight home is minus 4.40 meters per second. Negative because the bird is flying towards the left in the negative x direction. In part b, we're asked to redo this calculation for the whole episode from the time when the bird first leaves the nest to when it returns. In this case, the bird begins and ends at the same location, the nest, so its change in position, delta x, equals zero. The average velocity then, equal to delta x over delta t, is also zero. When there's no displacement, no change in position, the average velocity is always zero.